Hey loves, it's Belinda Celine, and today I'm partnering up with Ulta to bring you this gorgeous stone colored makeup look. Let's begin by prepping our face with a primer, and this one is from Too Faced. I'm going to apply this all over my face right before applying any kind of foundation. That way it doesn't sink into our pores and it looks a lot more flawless. Next, I'm going to use one of my favorite foundations. This one is called the Better Skin Foundation from Maybelline, and I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender all around my face, and then without picking up more product, I'm just going to add the remaining on my neck. You don't want to have a mask. For a concealer, I'm going to use the Better Skin from Maybelline, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eye, not only to conceal, but also to brighten up right underneath my eye and I like to have two beauty blenders on hand this is another one that I'm going to use just because the other one had a darker foundation on as where this one has a light concealer on using that same concealer I'm going to use it to contour my nose to cover up any hairs that I have been plugged from my eyebrows to conceal any of the darkness around my nose and to brighten up right underneath my chin then I'm gonna go right back with that makeup sponge and I'm going to blend all of that in Next, I'm going to use a translucent powder and I'm just going to dab my sponge into there and I'm going to apply that right underneath my eye and then I'm going to use the remaining of the powder that's still underneath my eye because I did grab a little bit more than usual and I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush. This one is from It Cosmetics and I'm going to go ahead and just dust that around my face so that I don't have too much on and also to set in the rest of my concealer around my face. Using one of Too Faced Teddy Bear brushes, I'm going to use this to warm up my face. So I'm going to grab my Anastasia Contour Palette and I'm just going to grab a bronzy color which I'm going to apply in a sweeping motion across my face. I'm not contouring, I'm just giving it a warm bronze look. When I was shopping at Alta, this bronzer really caught my attention. It's called Fiona Styles and I really love the texture. It's very creamy and buttery. So I'm going to use this to contour my face and I noticed that it's very pigmented and I went a little bit heavy on the bronzer. So I just went ahead and I blended it out without picking up more product. And if you're having a hard time trying to figure out where to put that bronzer, just suck in those cheeks and you'll see your cheekbones around your forehead. And if you feel comfortable, you can also do it slightly on your jawline. I also contour my nose because I feel like it looks even when you contour your face. I feel like your nose doesn't look washed out, so I highly recommend it. You don't have to if you don't feel comfortable. You just want to make sure that you contour straight down your nose so it's not crooked. And I'm losing a little bit of that brightness that I applied earlier, so I'm just going to go back with that concealer and I'm going to apply that on there and then use a beauty blender to blend it all in. You'll be surprised how much of a difference contouring makes. So now let's move on to our brows, which I think is probably the most important when it comes to makeup just because it frames your face and you look a lot more put together even if you don't do a lot with your makeup. I feel like brows are number one. So I'm just going to grab this browsing palette from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm going to use an angled brush to first draw them out, well, not draw them out, well line out exactly how you want your brows to be and then go in with the remaining powder and make sure that you blend it inside of what you just outlined. For the eyes, I'm going to start with an eyeshadow primer and I'm going to apply this all over my eye. This is going to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts all day long and it's going to be a lot easier to see the colors and they're just going to pop. I'm going to be grabbing Tarte's In The Bloom palette and I'm going to grab the lighted shade on my lids and I'm going to put this all over my lids from the very bottom where my lash line sits to right underneath my brow bone. For this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be playing around with two different palettes and this one is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the shimmery color and I'm going to apply this on the crease of my eye all the way down to the inner corner of my eye where my tear duct is to really brighten it up. And you want to start off with the lightest color first and then slowly intensify the shade because less is more. You want to build up your darker colors. Alright, so I'm going to go back with the Tarte palette and I'm going to grab a color that's slightly brownish but it's more on the gray side and I'm going to apply this right underneath the crease of my eye and I'm going to make sure that I blend it in really nicely because we're going to start adding darker colors now. Using my It Cosmetics number 12 eyeshadow brush, I'm going to dip it into Pistol and Blackout on the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to apply this to my eyelid and to the bottom of my lash line as well. 
for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using Tarte's new eyeliner. And this one is the So Fine Eyeliner, which is waterproof. And it makes it a lot easier for you to make out a wing liner at the end. As you can tell, the tip is very, very small and fine, which did make it a lot easier for me to apply. The lashes I'll be using today are from Ardell. They are the 120 Demi Lashes. And before applying the lashes, I always recommend to curl your own lashes. That way they blend in with the falsies. I also like to apply a couple coats of mascara to the top lashes and also to the bottom just so that they all blend in really nice and the bottom ones stand out just as much as the ones on top. Next for my cheeks, I'm going to grab this Tarte blush and I wanted a color that was very soft. That way it doesn't take away too much from the bold eyes and also the bold lip that I'm going to apply. Using my Cosmetics number 106 brush, I'm going to use it to apply my highlighter. This one is a Stila Kitten Duo Highlighter and I love how pretty it is. I wanted more of a champagne-y color. I'm going to add that to the top of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and also the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose as well. Now it's time for the lip color, which is what inspired this whole look. I really wanted to use this lipstick. I absolutely love it. And I've seen this type of color on Pinterest and other places, but I didn't know where to find it until I found it um, through Smashbox. So I'm really excited about it. And if you don't have a lip liner that's the same color as your lipstick, I would recommend using an angled brush to make sure that you line out your lips. And then because I did want this color to be matte, I'm using the new Smashbox Instant Matte Lip Product which you just apply right over your lips and it mattifies any kind of lipstick that you have on into matte. I love how this look came out. I think it's always a good idea to step out of your comfort zone once in a while because makeup can always come off. I'll see you guys in my next video, which is Bissles. Mwah! de cómo uno puede limpiar, desinfectar y desmanchar las esponjitas de maquillaje. Y ahora vamos a empezar. Agarra tu esponjita y enjuágala con 